Hello, and welcome to the UF80 Digital Presenter Instructional Video. For the next few minutes, we will show you how to properly use your presenter in your classroom. With this helpful tool, a projected object may be magnified up to microscopic levels for science lectures. For presentations in literature and English, you may project specific passages from a book that a full class will be able to read. Yes, with this convenient presentation tool, the possibilities seem endless. How does it work? Well, it's really quite simple. There are two control methods. One is directly from the projector's platform. The other method is through the use of installed software on your computer. First, you will notice that there is one red light visible on the platform. This indicates that the projector is turned off. Press the power button once. Once you have done so, you will notice three blue lights are now visible on the platform, indicating that the projector is turned on. If you would like to project something other than from the platform, you may adjust the camera, like so. Next, you want to make sure that the lamp over the platform is on. You may control the lamp either from the platform, here, or from your installed software. The lamp lets you illuminate what is being viewed through the projector. You will notice that if I turn the lamp off, the screen goes black. You also have a zoom feature which will allow you to zoom in on any object on the platform up to microscopic levels. You may also zoom in and out using the installed software. The freeze button allows you to freeze the image projected from the platform for however long you wish. To remove the frozen image, simply press the freeze button once more. This may also be done by pressing the freeze button on the software window. Press freeze once more to unfreeze the image. For autofocusing, simply press the autofocus button once. This may also be done on your computer, like so. Pressing the internal external button will allow you to project either the platform or an external source plugged into the presenter such as a laptop, for example. You may rotate the image 90 degrees to the right by pressing the rotate button. You will find the same option under the control function area of the software window. Your installed software has a few more options not available from the platform. For example, you may adjust the color of your projected image under the iris color section of the software window. There is also an aperture option that will automatically adjust the lighting over the projected image for the best viewing options. There are two preset modes, a mode specifically to make text much easier to read, and a mode for better viewing objects. Perhaps you would like to project two images at once. You may do so with the I Save and I Recall buttons. Place the first object onto the platform that you would like to project. Press I Save. You will then be asked to select which number slot you would like to save the image under. Select the desired number memory slot. Repeat the process, except select a different designated number slot for each individual item to be projected. You may save up to eight images. To view all of the images saved to each number slot at once, press Div 9. 
If you would like to view two images at a time, simply press the Div 2 button followed by the number of the desired image to be viewed alongside the currently projected image. If you would like to save certain presets, such as lighting, zoom, focus, and so on, you may do so by pressing the P Save button followed by the desired number memory slot. You may save up to four presets. To use a saved preset, press P Execute followed by the desired number memory slot. You may capture an image, save it, print it, and even add digital effects to the image in this section of the software window. Pressing DIP will open up a digital effects menu. Any effects added to an image will not be projected. Pressing Capture will freeze the image in the view window. You will then be allowed to either save or print the image. To release the image, simply press the Release button. So to everyone watching, we hope you will find, as many individuals have, how remarkably convenient this tool can truly be. Goodbye and happy lessons. If you want a personal tour, or to check out the document camera for your class, just call Media at 4528. Note that SC only has a few of these cameras, so please schedule them only when you need to demonstrate a 3D object or to substantially zoom in on an object. To just demonstrate written or numerical material, please request an ELMO projector. Media has those available as well.